Hello, if me and Masika good noise, not the time for this. Wrong live at the pan. Hola, bienvenido a todos. So I got my peeps bless up on myself. All of my subscribers right now, a big shout out. And if you haven't subscribed as yet, just go ahead and do that, my peeps. Don't forget to click the bell for all the notifications. So we are looking on the topic right now. And before me even get into that whole climax massacre situation, let me kick it off right now with DJ Lava impacting young lives. Because we see we are him give away a portion of tablet to Jamaican students my people yeah man we have a big up lava right now with this kind of life changing move wanna watch these videos let me see let me see let me see you're taping okay hello lava everything okay yeah okay listen uncle lava gonna get a tablet for you okay yeah. All so right. Thank then. you. All right then. Bye. I'm so, seven years old. Seven years old. Yeah. Seven, all right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Listen, listen. You just imagine Uncle Love in front around like this. Like you give me a hug. Wow. wow. <laughs> Guess what? I have, a, I have a tablet for you. Okay. Okay. All right, then get a tablet for you. Don't worry yourself. Don't worry. okay. See the people and I joke something. See there. Well on there, well on there. You oh. give me five hundred dollars already. Only see the video, right? Right. And so much money this. It's eleven hundred more. See there. Eleven hundred dollars more cash. So you do it. Custom one on one print. Signed, sealed, delivered. So sixteen. You don't need 16 tablet. 16. Yeah. So we see we are this one boss donate 16 tablets and over 70 students in Jamaica are supposed to receive tablets. So that is a great initiative right there. Big up yourself, Lava. Comment and let me know what are your thoughts. Climax when we return. <laughs> Thanks for staying tuned on the program. Now, Climax was being asked a question about Massacre and Base Pan reaction peeps. The people them say them can't go. Someone wanna tell me we wanna think. Watch this. Well, I'm not answer yes. I said the number one. I said it. I'm calling number. Me have biggest send the credit to that number. They please. My son is at his dad. From what day I'm gonna stop get pretty, I'm been pretty girl. I just look um, them time they may have said me have my normal self, but me just sometimes the official some people say I me just don't want to kill up myself. You know them time in there. <laughs> Jay Kwan, the father, my love, call me and tell me say he might bring me to hotel. I know where I'm gonna get money from. Yeah, eat your dinner. How will you cook? Give me a nice little chop. Hello, if me and Masika good now, it's not the time for this. Wrong live at the pan if I them question here come for ask. Browning cook how she cook. Good cooking now. Good cook with a buzz. Play a song now. You did your work. Alright, my bad bro. Working class bro all the time, all the time. Why go and put God? No, a six in the other way. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Bad man thing, yes. Anyways, my fams. No, me I go head out. I would have missed you, man. That's the whole point. <laughs> missed you, man. I'm not even happy with you, man. 
All right, my peeps. So I'm going to say what I have to say already. I want to see her reaction. She look like she am a sick of good. Hmm. I'm going to comment down with me now, you know. Laden after the break, my people. <laughs> Okay, so thanks for staying tuned on the program right now, my peeps. And by now, we are fully aware that Ladden, the dancehall artist who was a past contestant on the Rising Stars talent show, he has been in custody for almost a week now. Yeah, my people, and we see we are. He went in front of the judge today and he pleaded not guilty. Fee. Two out of the three charges, the only one he will be pleading guilty to is breaching the Disaster Risk Management Act. You know, like them say curfew at 8 o'clock and you depend on the road 9, 10 o'clock. Yeah, that are the only thing he might plead guilty to. He not plead guilty to no strap charge right now. And we see where him liar really. I say the artist is in good mood because right now a bill application make him already and he's a public figure so let us see how well that will work in his favor my peeps because uh, with the official story concern they must say lad him a drive around in a St. Elizabeth one place named Chief side, right? He went to other occupants in the car, a 16 year old teen. Yeah, all male, a 16 year old teen and a 21 year old. So, them they on the road after curfew hours. Squad them, see them, signal them for stop. You know, say lad him slow down for stop. And when him think the squad them stop, they man take off, my people drive. And all over the place of the squad, they might chase him. And uh, it is then alleged that the squad, them see something true through the sunroof. So, them I wonder what that them never stop pursue the black bands. And when them finally catch up on the black bands, my people, them take them out of the bands, bring them back to the location, and that is where them find the nine. You know, so I'm I'm not even sure if Ladden was aware that it was in the car, my people, or what might be the case. But then again, as a big man in the situation, I think I feel be more responsible than that. Yeah, and I guess I'm gonna leave it, my peeps. But on the bless up on yourself, come and let me know what are your thoughts. I don't know. We talk later. Ablar Mastare, S. Bengo. Momento.